Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be going over how to download and install plugins on your paper Minecraft server. Now I am assuming you've already got your paper server set up and if you don't you can check out the eye at the top of your screen to see exactly how to set up a paper server in Minecraft 1.15.1. We go over every single step of getting your paper server from you know downloading the server files to making the server to even port forwarding allowing your friends to join. It is all covered in that video so go check that out if you want to get a paper server set up. However, you can also set up a paper server using Apex Minecraft hosting Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DNS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends running paper in just a few clicks. It's also very, very simple to add plugins to paper in Minecraft 1.15.1 on Apex Minecraft hosting. So if you want a server up and running quick and easy, you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Thanks so much to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into getting plugins. Now, the first thing you need to do is actually download some plugins. And if you go to the second link in the description down below, it'll take you here. And this is actually our list of top 10 plugins for servers. Now, this video is a bit out of date and I've got a new one coming, but all of the uh, article is up to date. That's why we always run everything through the website because it's very, very easy for me to come in here and change things just like that and get things up and running for our articles. So what we're gonna be doing here is actually installing world edit, right? So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. We're also gonna come down here and grab holographic displays. And then we're going to go ahead and get MCMMO as well. So we can grab MCMMO there. And then after we have that, I think that'll be good. I think these three will be good. It gives us kind of a diverse set of plugins, world edit, holographic display, and MCMMO. So what we want to do is make sure all these are compatible. So we have all three different websites that you can really download these from. So as you can see, we can click on filed here with world edit and we'll see 1.15 right there. Confirming world edit is working for 1.15. We can click that gray download button to begin the download in the bottom left and you will need to keep the file. Holographic displays, same thing, click on file there. We'll see that holographic displays is updated for Minecraft 1.15. Click on that, it downloads in the bottom left. And then we have MCMMO, which is gonna be a bit different. As you can see, it does say native version Minecraft 1.15, but even if it's not the native version, as long as it is under the tested versions, you should be good to go. Then we can go ahead and click download now there, and it will take us off. Now this process of installing plugins is very, very simple, like stupid simple. All you need to do is once your server is created, right, we've got them downloaded here. Once your server is created, open up your server files, right, there's our paper server, open up the server files, and then you'll have this plugins folder. Click on that plugins folder, and now drag and drop your plugins into this folder, right? Drag and drop your plugins from your desktop or your downloads folder. If you need to find your downloads folder, click on the little Windows icon at the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads, click on that downloads folder, and in here you will find all of your plugins. Drag those to your plugins folder, and it's that easy. Done. That, that, that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Drag and drop them into the plugins folder, and you are good. You have added plugins. Now all you need to do is double click to run your server. And then when you do that, you'll see a few things and you can check this in a few ways. Over here, you'll see that these plugins are enabling, right? They are enabling, they are working, they are getting things happening. And then on top of that, you'll also see the folders up here for these plugins in here. You can go in and edit those plugins there. So as you can see, there was holographic displays. Um, what else, is that? Is that it? Let me see if I can scroll up. Yeah, it's not gonna let me scroll up because as long as new things are happening there, it's not gonna let me scroll up. There's MCMMO enabling, and then we do have whatever it's called as well, World Edit, but World Edit enabled back there, and we missed it. But nevertheless, if we refresh here, you'll see there's Holographic Display, MCMMO, and World Edit. Let's say you wanted to do some configurations on MCMMO. You can double click on that, and guess what? There's the config.yml. You can double click on it, open it up with your favorite text editor. We personally use Atom.io here, so Atom.io is what I use, and that's what's gonna open up here with the config.yml, and then you can edit any of these files, right? So here we go, opening up the mcmmo config.yml. You can come in here and change all this. Retro mode is either true or false, for example. So we can change that to false, boom. Then go ahead and save it, and there you go. Pretty simple stuff. And now you can also come in here for like holographic displays and change the config on holographic displays and so many different options, so many different things that you can change and rearrange and all of that stuff. You can even do the April's full event, like you can change that on and off. But yeah, as you can see here is all of that stuff, the config for holographic displays. So pretty quick, pretty easy to come in here and edit any of these. The more custom you can make your server, the better. So I would recommend editing pretty much all the config files or at least looking them over and changing like language.yml files and things like that to make them your own on your server. So nevertheless, once you've got that, we can go ahead and join on into our server just to confirm that everything is up and running. So here we do have Minecraft 1.15.1 multiplayer. I'm just going to, wait, what was that? Play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have two incredible grief protected survival servers. We have medieval survival with over 30 quests and an incredible player-based economy, and then we have Aquatic Survival with a slash shop-based economy, and then we also have Skyblock, which is 100% custom, OP enchants, OP kit, starter kit, 
custom islands, custom crates, ranks, 1.8 PvP. You will absolutely love it. So play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Can't wait to see you online. But anyway, I'm going to direct connect. This is just a local server here. And the quickest way to see if a plugin is enabled and working is just doing slash PL, right? Slash PL does slash plugins. And as you can see, we do have holographic display, MCMMO, and world edit. We can do things, for example, for MCMMO. Like I think we can come down here and, yep, there's acrobatics for one. And then we can go ahead and break some things here to get our excavator going or do you have to use a shovel for excavator okay we're learning a new skill as you can see so yeah there's that acrobats just works though so that's pretty cool and then we do have holographic display as well so we'll do slash hollow oops, slash hollow create test test. Oh, I don't have permission. I need to opt myself one quick second so I can opt myself here. Ooh, I sneezed there. I, we cut it out, but yeah, that's what that was. Anyway, so we can opt that, and then now I can go into creative, for example, game mode creative, fly up here, and then rerun that command. Hollow create test test, and there's our little, our little test there that is working. And then we can do slash slash wand, do something a little crazy, click here, and then we're, we'll, we'll see if we can't go crazy and crash something maybe with world edit slash 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 set diamond block boom make a selection first i did make a selection oh i accidentally clicked it twice let's go over to here we're gonna go really far because why not boom and bam there we go that might be a little too much for it but actually it handled it why did it perform so well in 1.13 like past 1.13 but anyway there we have it we do have world edit installed as well. If y'all have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your newfound paper plugins. Enjoy your new paper server. Paper is, in fact, the best server software out there by far, and the only way you should really ever host a Minecraft server is with paper. That is for sure. I feel like I didn't showcase that MCMMO was working enough, so let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I, like, I know it's just all in my head, but nevertheless, I, I want to go ahead and double check this. So game mode, survival, and boom so we can go ahead there we go we're learning a new skill real quick get this learned and then we'll show that excavator does work there we go excavator level one i don't think that counts towards mining but nevertheless i mining is up and running but yeah there y'all have it if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below enjoy your new plugins come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com my name is nick thanks for watching and i am out peace